Open source is more than code. It's about communication and collaboration. Open source actually doesn't care where you're from, what you're wearing, what computer you're using. Open source is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It is Hacktoberfest time. And what does that mean? That means if you contribute four pull requests in October, you are in free swag from stickers to t-shirts. So thank you very much, Intel, DevTO, and DigitalOcean for this awesome month-long hackathon. But wait, it doesn't end there. I have lots of tips to give you and lots of suggestions on how it can help you in October and help you longer term. Hacktoberfest is not just for October. Well, it actually is just for October. But what I mean is open source is not just for October. Use this as a springboard into open source so that you can accelerate your career. Continue after October, keep that momentum going. You don't need to spend weekends doing open source. Just remember a little and often, share your journey of you working on your project. People wanna see how you got from A to B. People actually really wanna see how your code was three months ago and is it better today? It actually doesn't matter what state it's in today. All they wanna know is, is it better than it was was three months ago. That shows you're still learning and still improving. Behind me, you can see the Hacktoberfest website and I'm featured in their video. So thank you very much DigitalOcean for featuring me in your awesome video. You could already register for Hacktoberfest. You, all you need is your GitHub login to sign up, but your pull requests don't count from the 1st of October. And you may be thinking, well, what is a pull request? A pull request is you adding value to someone else's project. I didn't say adding code, I said adding value. So it's really important not just to think of open source as code. Actually, open source is more than code. It's about communication and collaboration. And you may be thinking, I don't have enough experience to get involved in open source. Open source actually doesn't care where you're from, what you're wearing, what computer you're using. All open source cares about is that you pay a visit once in a while and you add value. So you get involved in the conversation. But then you may also be thinking, how do I find projects to contribute to? We'll get to that, so stay tuned. Some of the rules for Hacktoberfest. You can't do spammy pull requests. Make sure they add value. And if you want your pull requests to stand out from the crowd, make sure you add really good description. Use Markdown to make your pull requests stand out. Include things like bold text. Screenshots and images count for so much. Put yourself in the maintainer's shoes. Make it easy for them to digest your pull request. Make your pull requests small. They don't want to review pages and pages of changes. It's better to raise a smaller, pull requests and more often than one giant pull request. This is my GitHub profile page. You've probably seen this before. If you're really interested in open source and upskilling your technical skills, as well as your networking and communication skills, don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Hit the bell button so you get notified every time I go live and give this video a thumbs up. Why am I so passionate about getting you into open source? because it's not just about the swag for Hacktoberfest. I really believe it can help you get the job and money and clients that you deserve. Open source is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's about doing it little and often. It's like brushing your teeth. You don't brush your teeth for an entire day every month. You brush your teeth for a few minutes every day. And over time, that provides so much value. And if you miss a day, your teeth aren't gonna fall out and go yellow. Same thing with open source. You need to do little and often over a longer period and that will make your GitHub profile look really healthy. So therefore, companies can find you. Companies are becoming smarter and are looking for people on GitHub. Same with recruiters. Remember, they're not just looking for code. They're actually looking for your communication skills, your attitude, to so get involved in the conversation. Reply to people's comments. Try and help other people out. Add value. Can you confirm a bug is a bug on your system, on your platform? Can you improve documentation to lower the barrier to entry for all the other people onboarding on the project? There's so many ways you can get involved in open source. It is not just about code anymore. We have an awesome community where we encourage each other to get involved in open source regularly and help each other when we get stuck. This is our community GitHub organization. If you want to get invited to this organization, just raise an issue on our support repo, asking to be invited to the organization and we'll send you an invite. And then come over to the Discord channel and let's chat between live streams and videos. We also have some great community projects from front-end HTML and CSS, using things like Tailwind and Swelt, to back-end node bots that communicate with our Discord and everything else in between. If this is your first time contributing to open source, we do have a Hacktoberfest practice repository. But remember, on the 1st of October, when Hacktoberfest starts, this repository will be archived so you can no longer contribute to it during the month of Hacktoberfest. And in this repository, all you need to do is add your name to the readme to practice that workflow. 
And we have instructions on how you can do that. And then your name appears on this lovely list below. Get this done before the 1st of October so it doesn't count as a spammy contribution during Hacktoberfest. So you may be thinking, how can I find repositories to contribute to? Well, there are a few great ways. One way is contribute to repositories that you're already familiar with. If you're using a library or framework already, try and get involved in those projects because you'll already be familiar with it. Or contribute to a friend's repository. They might have tweeted a project they're working on. Try and contribute to that, try and get involved. But if you want to contribute to a completely different set of repositories, when you find the repo, you can actually go to the issue section and you can filter by clicking on the labels. For example, first timers only or good first issue. But if you want to search the whole of GitHub for those sorts of tags, then you can head to the issue link at the top and then you can filter the issues with any labels that you wish. In this case, I'm filtering by good first issue, but I could also filter by Hacktoberfest. And then you can see the other labels on those issues and the technologies that are used and see the comments that have been going on. Another great tip that I learned recently is if you've got a project you want to contribute to and you can't find any open issues that you want to take, have a look through the code base for to-dos. So many people leave to-dos in the code base and they forget to raise an issue and they forget to make the improvement. If you find to-dos in the project and you improve them, trust me, the project maintainers and the community will love you for it. Hacktoberface is not just for October. Well, it actually is just for October. But what I mean is open source is not just for October. Use this as a springboard into open source so that you can accelerate your career. Continue after October, keep that momentum going. You don't need to spend weekends doing open source. Just remember a little and often, think of the brushing your teeth example. And then in six months, a year, you'll be thanking me when you're getting companies chasing you to join their team because of the awesome work you've done. Don't wait until your code or your project is perfect to put it out there because trust me if you're always learning it will actually never be perfect share your journey of you working on your project people want to see how you got from a to b people actually really want to see how your code was three months ago and is it better today it actually doesn't matter what state it's in today all they want to know is is it better than it was three months ago that shows you're still learning and still improving if you're working on any exciting github projects share the link in the comments below and so the community can get involved i really want to give your open source projects a shout out. Have a great Hacktoberfest and I'll see you on GitHub.